No, I mean a lot of go a lot of work goes into um, forming those collaborations and partnerships. And I think what's special is that anyone that I work with, I any company, I truly stand behind, and I really believe in the product. I believe in the messaging. I believe in the mission statement. I mean, all of that is so important to me. I think um, if I'm going to put my name and image on something, uh, I need to really love it and and believe in it 100%. Uh, and I think I'm beyond sort of posing with a product and and, and just sort of signing my life away to, mm -hmm. to some other company. I, I want more than that. I want to understand the brand's intentions in the marketplace. I want to understand where they're where they're heading, what the trajectory is, what the long-term plan is. And, um, you know, from a business standpoint, I think diving into those elements just adds the the deeper substance behind it all as well. Oh, that's really important. And I think, um, yeah, not everyone does that in the world. And, <laughs> and um, I think a lot of consumers also are kind of waking up to this idea of I, I we're getting over sort of fast fashion and things that kind of um, – you know, quantity over quality and starting to think about stuff like sustainability or longevity or, um, yeah, wanting to support companies that mean something. That's right. And, and companies that are making a difference and, and affecting people's lives. I mean, I think people are craving nowadays that authenticity across the board, you know, mm -hmm. in, in a world that's just instant gratification and um, that can be seemingly a little self-absorbed. I think it's important to really connect with others and, and remember that, you know, there has to be something greater than just this. You know, we have to be striving for more and working for the next generations to come. So what are a couple of your favorite things that people can get from airmilesshops.ca? Okay, have you visited the, the site yet? Because that leads you into this whole world where you have everything at your disposal. And whether that's electronics, like a camera, um, pajamas and bathrobes, so apparel... Uh, winter wear, sports wear, um, I mean, you name it. Books, candles, blankets, throw cushions. I mean, <laughs> it, you, there's something for everyone in your life, and, and that's what's special and fun. And, uh, and as you're, you're buying, you can earn miles. So, I mean, Which is... What could be better? That's, that's what as we, we want. Now we, we're both obsessed with that, it sounds like. Yeah. With accumulating those miles, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's why you go to the Metro. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's for listeners maybe outside of the area. Um, <laughs> that is a grocery store <laughs> where you get the air miles. All right. Little bit aside, uh, let's learn a little bit about Tessa Virtue. What is your all-time favorite movie? Hmm. It's funny because I get asked this a lot and I often answer the same thing and then people, well, okay, it's Princess Bride, I think, is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Best in show is up there if we're going the comedy route. Excellent so good, choices. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Both excellent. Okay, I approve of both of those. Okay, thank you. What, um, what's yours? Those are, my all-time favorite is The Goonies. Okay, I haven't seen that. Um, well, you know what? It's, I'm like half a day older than you. <laughs> And so it was probably just a little bit before your time. Uh, but it was like, it's an adventure movie. It also has my first crush in it. Oh. What's up, Josh Brolin? <laughs> um, I mean, also still a crush. Yeah, so I mean, timeless. It's time yeah. yeah, exactly. There but Princess Bride for sure is yeah. on that list also because it's just yeah. wonderful. What about all-time favorite book? A Gentleman in Moscow. Oh, I don't know it. Immortals. It's, it's, cool. I'm kind of jealous because if you don't know it, you haven't read it and you have that to look forward to. Nice. <laughs> so I'm envious of that, but it's just beautifully crafted. Okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on my yeah. list. <laughs> what about last TV show you binged? Do you even binge TV shows? You know, I don't watch a lot of TV and I don't, I'm traveling so much and in hotel rooms, I never think to turn the TV on even, but um, I am just wrapping up Mad Men. I okay. really enjoy that. I feel like, yeah, champions don't spend as much time watching TV as I do. <laughs> mm. what, what are you into? Oh, man. Well, first of all, I just binged a show called Bringing Sexy Back. Mm. Uh, it's an Australian uh, weight loss show. And uh, you know what? Not the best show, but I love transformations, right? That's I so love neat that. to see, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And people, you and know. And neat to see people prioritizing their health and wellness and then hopefully feeling better at, yeah. at the end of the process, right? About themselves. 
it, uh, that's one of my favorite things. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. And, and especially if it's handled in a healthy way, because uh, a lot of yes. the shows are not. Yeah. And so uh, this one was good on that front. Oh, I like that. And um, Do they have JT in the background? Just like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, ring and sexy back. Unfortunately, no. I no. bet you anything they didn't want to pay for the licensing, <laughs> yeah, right? They, they have like, some random cover of the JT song. <laughs> uh, but some that, Aussie acoustic singer. It would have been great. <laughs> yeah. They probably, they should have gotten, oh, I forgot her name. Yeah, that was a good reference. Okay. <laughs> Iggy Azalea. Oh, oh, I knew. I knew go. it would come. I knew it would come. What are you listening to musically? Oh, I'm so boring with music. Or I try and have other people curate playlists for me. <laughs> or I listen to podcasts. But I like silence a lot of the time. Is that weird? I don't. I mean, I you're like quiet. busy. So taking a break. Yeah. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, I say that's not weird. And it's, although I will say this, someone, by the way, on YouTube, how dare they, put Ed Sheeran's song Perfect over you guys doing your long time running performance. Mm-hmm. And I was like. Very different vibes. Yeah. And I was like, look, we all want them to be in love, but how dare you? <laughs> Long Time Running is one of the most beautiful songs yeah, ever. It is. How mean. dare you? Um, that was very meaningful. And I think very, a lot of Canadians, it really touched their hearts to see their kind of their favorite, you know, Olympians dancing to th- their favorite band. Yeah. It was special to us. And we competed one week after Gord died. And. After each competition, we do an exhibition skate, which is what that long time running was. And Scott sh- turned to me, um, I think it was the morning of, the night before the morning of um, that skate and said, do you think we could choreograph something to long time running? And so we had 20 minutes on the ice together. We walked it through off the ice a bunch. And and yet it still felt comfortable because it came sort of organically and it meant so much to us. And, and I knew that that was... Especially important to him, Gord played a huge role in the way he approached performing as an athlete. Uh, Mm -hmm. He went to one of the final concerts in Kingston, and he sat there and thought, if if I can make just one person feel a fraction of the way the Tragically Hip makes me feel, then I will have accomplished something. And just that perspective on it, I think, uh, and the way that that shaped his youth and uh, who he was as a person, who he is, uh, it was really nice to to be able to share that together and then with Canadians who, you know, of course feel the same about Gord and the hip. Yeah, I think you guys really nailed it. And, and it was lovely to see because I think as Canadians, when we do embrace our own, we do it uh, on this huge level. And we have that with you and Scott. We had that. We still have it with the tragically hit, but obviously we had it for Gord as well, mm-hmm. and so it was a beautiful moment. Yeah, and cut to us mm-hmm. then last fall sitting in Paul Langlois' kitchen in Kingston and and just chatting, and I, the look on Scott's face was just priceless. But you know that's Canadians for you, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I think we're all a family, and we all support one another, and it's a, it was so cyclical and really quite beautiful. Well, this Valentine's Day, Chili and I are going to listen to the tragically hip while we go to airmailshops.ca yes and check out some of the curated items by tessa virtue that sounds lovely i can't think of a better way to celebrate and valentine's who, day who are you with on valentine's day that's a great i'm with a lot of special people on valentine's yeah. day um, so many friends and family members and <laughs> oh, that's beautiful yeah it's beautiful uh, tessa thank you so much for joining me thank you it's a pleasure